Welcome to Attican Plays, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. All right. Hi, this is Attican, and welcome to Series 4, Episode 28 of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I don't even know where to start, so I'm just going to start. Uh, I, I stared at the screen for a long time thinking about all the things that are going on right now and uh, just couldn't decide where to start, and I finally said, up, eh, start. So let's start with um, last time we set up our oil field. So let's see the results of that new oil field. Here's our refinery. It's full of oil. Here's that tank. It's almost full of oil almost full of oil, almost full of oil. We haven't imported oil in I don't know how long, and the reason is simple. Uh, there, we might have an example coming in right here. Uh, no, this is a fuel train coming back. What's this one? Well, that's another, what, was that an oil train? Yeah, here we go. See that's 694 tons of oil? Why, let's watch this train right here. Of course, he's not doing anything right now because we've got a... Well, here here we go. Here comes a train from down in Mola. And it's unloading its oil, right? And look at... These things are filling up. We're, we're unloading here. we got pretty good production. Well, no, actually, right this moment, we have weak production, but it'll, it, it goes in and out. Um... I can tell you one thing I will say. Pollution really makes the game harder. Because when you have to transport people to your sites, you do not keep the production up the way you'd like to if you had if we had flats surrounding us. I know I've said that before, but that's just the truth. Don't you just love telemarketers? Oh god. Uh, sorry, I, I, oh, man, I, I, if I sound frustrated, I'm so tired of having my phone ring for nothing, for absolutely nothing. There, I'm done bitching. All right, <laughs> for, for now, I'm done bitching for the next few minutes. Anyway, I was saying, the game's much harder with pollution. It is, so, uh, you know, nothing wrong with that. Hard is good. Um, challenging is good. All right. Uh, I see a flaw here. Uh, the fact that he has to wait to go through here. Why is he wait? Oh, again, he's going. Oh, that's right. That's a filter. That's fine. Okay, no, this is all beautiful. It's working perfectly, except for this. This guy should be able to go up here. Yeah, we need a passing lane over here to allow trains back here to not be stopped by a guy who's trying to get back in here. Because what I've done is I've changed the lines a little bit so that, that these oil and bitumen, see, going to Molna, then going to Baraslav, so a eastern export or western export. I think this one's going to, yeah, this one, the fuel one's doing the same thing. When I changed the fuel ones over, it actually caused this little traffic jam because this guy right here is doing the same thing. He's our second fuel train, and he is coming back from Baraslav. The problem is he's coming back from Baraslav, and this guy's coming from our oil field down there carrying a bunch of oil. And we, he can't afford to be waiting because we're producing, look at that, look at this traffic jam we got. We got to fix this. So uh, we got to fix this. We got to fix this. All right. So let's build a passing lane. And in fact, let's get rid of this guy. Let's tell him to go to Molda. Did he not get the order? I just told him to go to Molda. He's got a clear track. I don't understand why he. Huh. <clears throat> I don't understand why he isn't going to Molda. Well, here, go to Baraslav if you like that better. Oh, maybe he's waiting on this train to come out, which means that he doesn't even have to do that. <laughs> All right, go back there. 
go back where you were originally trying to go. There, thank you. Well, now everybody, everything's fixed, but that's not that's not a fix. That's just a circumstance. So let's fix. Let's put a passing lane right here. Make sure we run it at least six tons of steel plus six plus. That's four, six. Bring it in like so. And to make it a passing lane, what we're going to do is take out that signal and put chain signals here. Whoops. Here and here. Okay. And then we'll put a signal here, here saying you've cleared that space and here saying you've cleared that space and build that okay good so now if if a train is coming back with fuel they we, we can have other trains pass them and if this isn't this is a little tight here I wouldn't even mind having a second passing lane we got a lot of a lot of stuff going on down here we got lots of trains coming into this area look at all this this is actually kind of cool all right, so um, uh, oh, where to start? Oh, so so back to this. Look at this oil. We have an import oil. I don't know how long. Look over here at our chemical plant. <laughs> we we cannot use it as fast as we're making it. So obviously, uh, you know, I think more chemical plants are in the offing because we can't. We're not making nearly enough anyway. But uh, as I was saying, where to start? There's so much going on here. I've been uh, just in the last little bit I've played off camera. Um, I discovered a problem right here. We're missing this path and a connection over to here. So these people actually couldn't get to a school, as absurd as that may sound. We've got people in our highly educated area who couldn't get to school. I think there were one or two of them that had that problem. And one of the things I said in an earlier one, re very recent one, is I gotta start paying more attention to these problems. I I'm just passing them over like, you know, oh, so what? And uh, that's wrong. What we need is more like this, where the only problem they have is church because you nothing you can do about that. That's that's just too bad. So um, got to start cleaning these up more and paying attention to them because they do give you hints as to, you know, you, if you see a problem, you know, if you, if you, if you can't figure out the fix, you, you, you got a problem there that you don't know the game well enough. And you should be able to determine what the deal is. And I think what happened when I was checking all the pathing, you see all these paths and it's a little confusing. I mean, they go so many places. But this, this, uh, a flat could not walk over here to this school. I mean, it's that simple. And we've got a good school system down here, obviously. You know, we got lots and lots of highly educated people, 178 out, uh, out of 178 up here, but down here, a bunch of uneducated. And I think one of the things that happened to make that uh, show up is I had shipped some people when Artis Gilmore had its education problems. I shipped some people up here, and that kind of and I put them down here, I believe, and that, that kind of exacerbated the problem. So then you get these uneducated people, they can't uh, work anywhere, so they're not helping us with our food or our uh, distillery up here, they're not helping us with our clothing, they're, not, they're, not, they're just not helping us, they're hurting us. All right, so I put in the past, that helped that. Um, lesson learned, I gotta go through and clean up all of this. Look at this, no kindergarten. I keep resisting building more kindergartens because it just seems like they're, they're ridiculous numbers already. But uh, you know what? They need a kindergarten. And it just points again to the need to have a truly excellent uh, housing block design. 
so that uh, you eliminate these problems from the start. And you get like that one we built for our chemical plants, you end up with, um, uh, you end up with, um, uh, you know, only church problems. That's what you want. Only, only religion problems. If you can get down to only religion problems, you, you've probably done a pretty good job. He's already getting business. All right, good deal. All right, so I, I, um, I'll go off camera and clean some of these, and, and if there's anything interesting, I'll show you. But, but the moral is, pay attention to these errors. They're, they've got them. They didn't. I don't think they worked right at first, but they, they seem to be correct now, and uh, giving us good information. Now the other one is, I'm overstaffing some of this stuff, and so remember down here how we had. Um, all those workers without a job. Well, we still, we've still got them. So I thought, well, well, let's try an experiment. I put a food factory right here, real close. Uh oh, bad, right? Well, I've read on the forums that on the steam discussion groups, if you keep them down like a third production, thirty percent production or so, you don't get enough pollution to cause a problem because it just dissipates into the air. And, it, and I've been running this now for a little while. I'm not sure exactly when I built it, but it's been running for long enough to make a difference in pollution. And look at that, it's all green, there's no problem. So now I've got a food factory close by. And the way I do that is, I just simply said 30% of this was like, uh, what would it be, 30 and 21, 51. So I set the uh, uh, limit of number of workers to 50. So we can never have over 30% uh, production in here. And it's still, look at this, it's actually filling up with food. It's actually producing more food than we can ship off. I've got two trucks taking stuff to this warehouse and they can't ship it fast enough. I'm probably going to have to give it its own warehouse to store this stuff and then ship out of that warehouse. I may even have to put it on a train and start shipping it out. So. Um, you know, that little 30% factory works really well. And the, and the big thing is it keeps this guy, com this guy will be completely full of food all the time. I'm even contemplating if we have more workers here. Well, we still do, we still have people. Now this is weird to me. Uh, can he walk there? No, they can't walk that far. Who can get here? Let's just check something. One, two, three, looks like four flats can get here. Let's see if they have workers without a job. See, they have people without a job, 22, 21, 20. Let's let this run a minute and watch these two and see if that number of workers goes down. You know, 19, went down over here, 18, went down. Okay, it is going down. So the people who can walk to this are, are working. So I'm thinking, what if we put a, I mean, we could put a distillery right up here and create the alcohol for Artis Gilmore. Artis Gilmore could not only be your uh, education center, because by the way, what other thing I'm doing is now, <laughs> this is kind of cool. If I have an area where there's a lot, where there's uneducated workers, like, well, like for example, up here where I found that problem, I actually went backwards now. Instead of shipping Artis Gilmore people up, up here to be ed up uh, here to be educated. I shipped people from here that had a problem down here to be educated because Artist Gilmore now is just a super strong education center. It can handle uh, education for folks. So I started shipping uneducated from, from the education area to Artist Gilmore, which was kind of awesome because it just shows you that the Artist Gilmore is really working now. So uh, we've got a food factory here and we've still got too many people, so we could either move them off or we could just put in another, let's put in a distillery. Put it up here, see if we can get a road up there.
and we can and let's put a uh, distillery up here Let's give it a road cargo um, station. See if that'll work. building this and I need to double check and make sure people can walk to this. And we won't know until we build that. And that. <laughs> okay, we can get lots of people up here to this distillery, so let's build a distillery. Okay, and we will set it to 30%, which will be 30. That's pretty easy math there. I can handle that one. All right, so we'll set it to max out at 30, and we will buy some, uh, we'll import some uh, crops to get it going. Workers are coming up there. We're now creating uh, alcohol for uh, Artist Gilmore, and we will, um, set up a couple of trucks go way down here to our road depot uh, let's see I want something that carries a lot okay you guys go up here to our new road cargo station and then deliver to oh shoot okay we really need a road cargo station attached to this or to this or to both This thing only has the one outlet. I think I need a, ideally a road cargo station attached to the, this warehouse. Oh boy, good luck.
We'll send this truck back to the depot. Blow up our pub. Yeah, we have to find a home for our pub. It looks like right there would do very nicely. Ooh, would it fit in there? Any chance? No way. Okay, I think it's time to give artists some more trees. And this is something I really, really would like to see an auto plant fe feature because I just think this is this is micromanagement that I don't find to be fun gameplay. Maybe some of you would just love this. I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me. Okay, so, um, you know, we could probably even, <laughs> we're not going to have anything in here. We could probably just take trees down from in there, too. All right, uh, where was I? Got a pub. Vehicles, vehicles. 
these are the ones I don't know what these are but okay they're going to go here one of them is going to go there and go there Load alcohol, unload alcohol. Start. Okay. That's that. We'll probably again. We're probably going to overproduce and have to uh, send it elsewhere. But you know, it's a nice problem to have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I might even do clothing down here. Ours Gilmore may become its own little world. An education center uh, separated from the rest of society. Uh, uh, how perfect is that? Okay. Um, the food guys, food guys. We need, um, we need a, a road cargo station here. Or do we really need a train? <laughs> do we really, really, really need a train? One thing I do, I, I think I'm going to keep a couple coming out of that. Yeah, I got to think about this. Y'all tell me what to do on that one. <laughs> I'm tired of thinking. Tell me if I need to put a road cargo, if I can run two trains and just let this underproduce, or should I put a, a train stop out here and maybe even a, a connection up here and start loading up alcohol and food and, and sending it off. I mean, we could load it up with a train, drop it off here, and then go export. You know, that would be easy enough. Well, all I'm doing is saying, okay, I got too many flats in here for what I built. And rather than knocking down flats or moving people away or whatever, let's just uh, make them self-sufficient. Plus, I want to do the experiment about the, around the pollution, and that seems to be working so far. Of course, they haven't been long enough to truly say, but look at that. There's zero pollution around that food factory. And it's already produced a lot of food. So we've already hauled some off, and it's, it's done more. But what I do need to do, I guess, is, is change this find these two vehicles and instead of saying go to the warehouse which is just going to be crowded go to this um, road cargo station I went to all that trouble to put in so go here take out that unload all your food And then copy that line. And find this tray, this one. Okay. So now they should both be working on the, um, I think. Cargo station. Okay, all right. So we got two uh, heading over to, the, to here to keep this uh, filled up with food. And we've got alcohol being produced. We've got one truck hauling it off. And it's going to fill up soon enough, isn't it? Okay. Huh. 
what to do, what to do. All right, I, seriously, I'm going to just leave it open to suggestion. I really don't, it, we can go any way we want to. The, and we'll keep the experiment going, see if we're getting pollution, and see how much, you know, 30% capacity really works. But 30% walking might be more efficient, honestly. <laughs> it might be more efficient and cheaper than, try, you know, uh, you know, this kind of thing. So what's going on here? Oh my goodness. All right, we've had a meltdown over here. We have massive. What in the world? What in the world is going on, he said. Okay, I don't know if you, it's not a pollution problem. We've got everything they want. We've had 1,100 escapes, so everybody who lived in this community has escaped, it looks like. No wonder we're not needing any more oil. But I've been checking this, and it's been getting pretty good production. And if we look at our exports, this year, fuel, 3 million, bitumen, 1.4 million. That's in the Eastern block, and in the Western block, 2.6 million bitumen, a million fuel. We're obviously producing a lot, and I don't think it's all coming from here. So this has happened very recently. Oh, this is not what I planned to show you, trust me. Um, I'm a little shocked by this, I have to say. What could possibly be going on here? We're bringing them food, meat, and clothing. We had a hospital with ambulances. We had a cinema. Everybody can walk to everything. God, do they have power? Yeah, they have power. Um, wow. Folks, I'm at a complete loss. I don't know what happened. We have schools, we have kindergartens and playgrounds. Probably need more kindergartens based on what we've learned recently, but still, Can't, I, I, I cannot imagine why that many people would. And I've been monitoring the happiness. What's our overall? Our happiness has stayed high. It has never dropped low. All right, anybody have any theories? Uh, let me know. I guess I'm going to ask questions instead of give you answers. This episode. I am going to restock this and see what happens. We're going to recruit people back in here. 
And before I do this, I'm going to see if you can go. You can go to... Can you get to a bus stop? Yep. All right, so you can go to school. You've got a kindergarten and playground. You've got... Um, you can walk downtown to the hospital and the... And the uh, shopping center which has plenty of stuff there's a broken is that broken right there no where's the pub the pub's right there you can walk to the pub i see no reason for these people to leave i i, I don't i am i'm baffled And I am going to put in more kindergartens. Put in one more. Where was I? We'll have to monitor this and watch what happens. That kindergarten message, uh, I can't believe that's true anymore. They have zero issues. Let me make sure I'm, I am importing stuff. So I've, so I've abandoned all hope of the test for the time being. Well, obviously, we've got a lot more workers now to rip through some of that oil we're bringing in. Five workers without a job. Okay, all these workers without a job. The hell.
I'm going to knock down the ones that can't walk to the um, ones that can't make it to here okay like this one I'm just gonna go away It seems like there's all when you try to move them like that, there's always that one guy that just doesn't want to go. He's got to get his Farrah Fawcett poster, I guess. They can't walk there either, so. Well, let's move some people somewhere else. Getting too crowded. Okay, all the flats can walk to there. So they should be able to get there and go to work at that refinery. And if they can't work, they, they should be able to work at all these different places here as well. We don't have enough teachers. Let's find some educated people. in the refinery. That's good. And again, this was not my plan, but I, I, I'm totally caught off guard by this. I, I have no idea what happened here. Let's see if she gets, no he, let's see if he gets food and clothing. Yeah he does. He should be good to go. When he gets back to, we'll make sure, let's see, the kindergarten is looking fine. We really don't need this one. It's too far away. To the train, did, had no problems going to work, traveling over to the uh, refinery probably, I'm assuming. the world could oh you know what no that doesn't make any sense what is this person doing traveling in a vehicle they're now going to work that's that was weird why did that take so long
Uh, we're filling up the refinery sometimes. Sometimes we've got more people here than we need for the refinery, but we're keeping it up at very high levels now. We're and still look at that. Look at that with those high levels. Look at that oil, totally full. We're producing tons of oil now. We're actually exporting it. I, well, I don't know what to say except okay, church. That's good sport. All right, maybe they've got a sports problem. I, 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 uh, it's, I mm, hard to believe. Put another one over here. Uh, okay, I'm going to take this. Oh, oh, I remember this. You can't. I, <clears throat> I've got these people assigned to work at this train platform. I can't unassign them. I, 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 it won't, it won't let me remove. Well, maybe I have to click on it. No. Oh, that did work. Okay, I've tried this before and it didn't work. I guess you have to click it and select it. Then remove it. Okay. Select it. Remove it. Remember way back when I set up the closest ones to the train station to go to the train station. Well, what's happening now is we've got too many people going to the train station. And they, they actually can't get off the train to go to work because there's too many. This thing will be full at when they get there. So they just ride around on this. So, And then they don't end up staffing stuff back here where they could go to work. So we're just going to take off all those assignments and see if we get better, better uh, distribution of workers into these various things. I can't see having this one way out here now. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four kindergarten. If, if that's not enough, I, I give up. Pub or tavern. Why couldn't you go to a pub or tavern? I can't. Okay. Couldn't participate in any sport. You know, I wonder if what's happening here is a person goes, they go here to get food, and then they want to play. Well, that doesn't even make any sense. They can get to. Of, to soccer fields. And the pub's within walking distance of every flat but that one.
couldn't participate in any sport with a sporting field right behind them. But if they walked down here, and then they wanted to play sports, there's sports right there. within walking distance. And I must say, I don't recall any of these problems prior to moving over to the test branch. So I, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I, and, and I will not, I'm not gonna stoop to blaming the game code because I'm sure it's something I'm doing, but I will be if I see what it is. I do not see what it is. Okay, the first error we don't care about. Five sports, four tavern. God, do we have to sit here and watch this to see if they go down? I'm looking for unsatisfied demands other than prey, and I'm not seeing anything. Of course, I'm going awful fast, but... Uh... Well, this... Uh, I don't know what to tell you, except this seems to be working now. I don't think we need another train, although I would like to see them kind of stack and be right behind each other more than they are. I might add one more train. It might be overkill, but I would rather have the trains kind of lined up here waiting to go into that platform so you get a constant flow of one after the other. Let's just see if we get, if this number drops. There's 29, no, it's not a problem. Let's just see, we've got, we've got people gathering Who's the first guy to get there? This guy right here has been waiting 23, 26 minutes. No problem. There, there's no problem. We do not need another train. All right, 469 people working in the factory, so that's all good. We're going to have to... Uh, can't sport culture. How, how in the world could they be having a problem? The only way I could think of it is because of that designation, having so many people going to this platform. Now, now hopefully, I would, I would want to see these numbers, this three and two. I wish there was a way you could click on that and find the people that they're talking about. Is our hospital staffed up? Yes, it is. Hospital coverage is fine. Sport. Can't play a sport. Can't play a sport. We'll find somebody who's got a problem. Sport or culture? Where's our sport or culture person? Here's a low education person. 
Why don't you go to school? Did I hit the wrong immigration here? Did I bring in a bunch of uh, third world immigrants here? A must have, 34 year old who, well he's learning in the school, he's going to school, that's what he should be doing. Uh, Four citizens can't play sports. <laughs> Since there are four citizens who can't play play sports yet I can't find anybody who can't who didn't has an unfulfilled need for sport okay here's one who wants sports let's see if they get it. They got their food and they got their sport all right shop and artist Gilmore that should be no problem and it's all set okay All right, so I'm going to stop right there. Apologize for the frustration in my voice, but I don't like when things don't work, especially if I don't understand them, and I really don't understand this. I don't understand how we have staffed culture and people not getting culture. That's weird to me. We've got open fields and nobody visiting them to play sports and people complaining that they can't play sports. So I'm a little confused about that. They could be old messages. Again, I don't know how long these messages stay. But we'll watch this. See, their happiness seems to be going right up. It seems to be climbing. Everything seems to be working. We got, well, we got okay people in the um, refinery. Here comes a whole bunch more. Our oil situation, we were exporting oil. There's, that probably right there was uh, an export of, of uh, fuel, actually. Excuse me. Here comes something. What's this? There's, this is going to be an export of oil where we've uh, filled up as much as we can. All right, so I, I don't know what to tell you except, uh, hmm. Uh, I had a whole bunch of other things to talk about, but uh, this is getting too long. So it's, this has become the, the problem with this uh, neighborhood right here, the mysterious uh, defections. I don't know if we had an insurgent in there or a dissident or what happened. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on what you think happened to this block right here. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player 
and I hope you'll join us for our next Workers and Resources Soviet Republic video. Thank you.